For this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic, located in Halifax, Nova Scotia. If you've watched this channel for a while, you've probably realized how much I enjoy vacationing in Canada. And yeah, here's another video that I filmed in Canada. So today I'm in beautiful Halifax, Nova Scotia, and I'm checking out the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. So right off the bat, I'll tell you this place is absolutely huge. This happens to be the oldest and the largest uh, museum in Canada dedicated to maritime history. And now that I've traveled to about a half dozen countries, I gotta say, I've never seen a museum of this size dedicated to maritime history. This is the largest one that I'm aware of. They've got over 30,000 artifacts, including 70 small boats that are inside the museum. Also included in the price of admission, you can access the CSS Acadia that's uh, permanently moored outside, which is a 180-foot steam-powered hydrographic survey ship. While it's not officially part of this uh, Maritime Museum, the Sackville, which is the last corvette of the Canadian Navy, is also moored here at the docks, and that's just a short walking distance from the uh, museum itself. This museum also has an incredible Titanic exhibit, and uh, they've got a lot of uh, original artifacts brought up from the ship, and uh, it's just, you know, I'm a huge Titanic fan. I, I have a lot of uh, interest in the White Star Line, and... Um, this place is incredible. I mean, obviously the dedicated uh, Titanic museums in Pigeon Forge and Orlando and Las Vegas have more artifacts, but uh, the exhibit here is pretty incredible too. A lot of people don't realize the Titanic sank off the coast of Newfoundland, which is not far from where I'm standing right now in Halifax Harbor. So this museum was originally founded in 1948. It was originally called the Maritime Museum of Canada and was located at the HMC Dockyard the naval base in Halifax Harbor. This museum moved several times over the, the next few decades until they eventually uh, constructed the current building uh, starting in 1981. I will say this, if you are a big fan of model ships, I've never seen a large collection of model ships in one place. They have so many model ships, I barely scratched the surface and you know I was trying to keep this video to about 10 minutes and I could have probably filmed an hour just of all the different model ships they have here. They have so many and if that's uh, something you're really into then this museum is going to be like nirvana for you. While there are more artifacts from the Titanic at the other Titanic museums, this particular museum has the uh, largest collection of wooden artifacts, you know, the, the pieces off like the walls of the, the state rooms and uh, the, the dining galleries and the trim and pieces off the grand staircase. And it really is remarkable seeing all these hand carved pieces uh, in such great condition. I mean, uh, considering these pieces of wood are over 100 years old and as well preserved as they are, um, it, it is, is incredible, especially considering they broke off a, a sinking ship. There are also some pretty interesting um, other exhibits, like they had the, the Battle of the Atlantic and they had the, the Halifax Harbor Explosion. Lots of local history that um, obviously I was unaware of growing up in America. The admission prices vary by season. Off-season, you're only looking at about $5 admission Canadian for adults, and uh, it will creep up to about $10 uh, for an adult in the peak season. Children five and under get free admission, and uh, the youth admission is only about $3 off-season. So there's a ton of value in that. Uh, this is a huge museum, and you can easily spend hours here uh, looking at all the exhibits. My bottom line is pretty straightforward. I highly recommend this attraction. Uh, it was one of my favorite tourist attractions here in Halifax. It's just a, in a great location. There's so many nearby attractions, great restaurants, amazing shops. Uh, the, the Halifax Harbor Walk is one of the largest uh, boardwalks in North America, so you, you have plenty to see and do here. All the dock ships, and there's some really good boat excursions. There's ferry boats that run to the state park nearby. I mean, you could build an entire vacation just around the Harbor Walk and all the, the available attractions here. 
I can't emphasize it enough what a pleasant experience I had while I was on vacation here. I mean, granted the weather was kind of crappy, but it was September. I kind of expected it. It was kind of rainy and, and chilly, but that's typical Nova Scotia weather. You're not going to get California sunshine here. I spent all day at the Harbor Walk and exploring the Sackville as well as this Maritime Museum, and wow, just wow. What an amazing place, and I really can't wait to come back again. Thanks for watching this episode of The Adventure Shmup. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See everyone next week.